It's official. Sonic is dead. That is right. Welcome to the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog, a game created by Sega. Sega has done the impossible and killed Sonic the Hedgehog. So let's go ahead and start our new journey. Phew, made it on the train 15 minutes ahead of schedule. So far, so good on my first day on the job. Oh, I totally forgot my name tag isn't ready. I should make one. I'll just sign my name here. Oh, this is me. Okay, we are Lynx. Did I spell that right? Uh, yeah, of course. Hope passengers can read my scribble. Ah, uh, here we are. The dining car on a train. Oh, am I nervous? Is this the first day on the job, Jitters? Working on the train's dining car can't be that bad. Come on, Lynx, shake it off. I'm gonna slap myself. Lynx, did I just see you hitting yourself? M -m Mr. Conductor, sir, how are you doing this morning? Oh, ho, ho, quite all right myself. Though feeling a little bittersweet. Uh, is everything right? Has there been a murder? Well, truth be told, not really. Alas, today is my last day as conductor. I'm retiring after 32 wonderful years. Time for me and the Mirage Express to say goodbye to one another. Oh, congratulations on retirement, sir. Thank you. My wife is very excited about it. She's already got our plane tickets to Spagonia locked. Our shower has been on the fridge, so I'm excited to use the hotel. <laughs> I can see why his wife's excited. Enough of my quibbles. Today's our first day working the dining car. Your first day. Ah, here's the menu. Added to inventory. You can open the inventory to view the items we have received. A menu with the chili dog. Sonic's favorite. Ramen and chicken cordon bleu. Why do you look so nervous? All we have on the train is a microwave. <laughs> Though I'm sure there's a little quiz in order. Which one do we serve in the dining car? Chicken cordon bleu. You think I'm a bad employee? <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Glad you can read the menu. Okay. <laughs> a little bit about the vessel. This is a state-of-the-art high-speed smart train with all the latest gadgets. This train can really handle anything you throw at it. We've had a lot of adventures together, me and this train. It's not easy to leave. After 32 years, I don't blame him for being wistful. This train is exclusively used for events. It's not a passenger train. I remember that from the interview. What's the event today? A murder mystery party. Nothing better than some thrills to end my tenure as a conductor. Guess we'll be funneled here to the dining car as a home base, so to speak. I'll be with you to gather tickets, but after that, you'll be on your own. So I'll need you to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests are well taken care of. Understood? I'll make you proud, sir. <laughs> Glad this old man can rest easy. Doors to the Mirage Express are opening all aboard. A murder mystery party. A perfect time for murder. So let's see. Is Sonic really going to be murdered or is it going to be a fake murder? I don't know. Well... This train is incredible, what fascinating tech. You're right, Tails. I can get used to staying on a train like this. What did you all expect? You know I always go out for my party. Mm. This train's as elegant as you are, Amy. Can't promise I won't take anything, though. Calm down there, Rouge. Did I not just catch you stealing from the train station gift shop? It was a pen, Knucklehead. Who's gonna miss a teeny tiny pen? What a cast of characters am I stuck with? Get a hold of yourself, Lynx. You're sweating through your uniform. Oh, sorry. Can you see that? Hey, pal. Can I get one of those chili dogs? Is this going to kill Sonic? <laughs> of course. Uh, are you a pirate? Oh, oh, no. I'm more nervous than I thought. Sonic, wait till I announce everyone's roles to get food. Haha, <laughs> sorry about that, birthday girl. I'll be coming around to collect everyone's tickets. Please have them out and ready. You'll join me, Lynx, won't you? Just click on whoever you'd like to talk to. Okay, I got it. All right, well... Collect everyone's tickets. Let's start off with Sonic here. Ticket, please. Uh, that looks like a ticket. Thank you kindly. Happy to have someone as renowned as yourself aboard. Don't worry about it. I just like Elvin. When Eggman took over, I truly feared the worst. But my kid swore you would swoop in eventually, and you did. I can't offer much other than my sincere gratitude. Don't sweat a thing. I'm glad you and your family are safe. Wait a second. Is he Sonic the Hedgehog? You didn't know that. I didn't know that. I promise you an excellent stay on our train, Sonic. Have fun now. Yes, have fun now. Will do. Thanks. I wonder if Eggman's going to kill Sonic. Okay, Tails. Can I have your ticket, youngin? Uh, right here, sir. Thank you. May I offer you any snacks we have aboard? 
No, thank you. When I travel, I always pack my own sparkle gelatin. It's a sparkly jelly that can melt any jaded heart. No way, I brought my own sparkle gelatin with me too. It's my first day and I was a little bit nervous. Don't be nervous. You're doing great so far. We're sparkling gelatin buddies. Oh, absolutely. If you need anything, let us know. Thank goodness someone on this train is absolutely normal. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Howdy. Can I get your ticket? Uh, I think that's a ticket. It's kind of messed up. But I really don't want to argue with this guy. If it looks good, thank you. Seems the conductor doesn't want to argue with him either. <clears throat> you don't want to talk at all? All right, SPO. Of course, I can have my ticket. It's right here. Excellent. Thank you. I hope you enjoy your stay with us. Absolutely. I appreciate it. There's a calm list about him. Something about his presence puts me at ease. You consider me calming. He's looking right at me. I study ninjutsu. I believe one can communicate through the subconscious. Wow, ninjutsu. That sounds like a lot of difficult training. Can you cling onto walls? Cling onto- What kind of question is that? I most certainly can. The conductor looks a bit too smug on that answer. All right, well, let's talk to our croc friend over here. Ah, uh, yeah, sure, of course. As a gentleman of upstanding morals, I'd love to show you my ticket. He seems to be avoiding eye contact. Is something amiss, sir? I seem to have uh, misplaced my ticket. Could you speak up a little bit? I couldn't quite hear you. I misplaced my ticket. I don't know where it is. He's not uh, hiding his embarrassment very well. Don't you worry. We'll take a look around for you and see if it turns up. Ah, that would be amazing. Thanks a million. Seems we should keep our eyes peeled for a ticket. Okay. Right here, there's a gold thing. Sticking out of the napkin holder is a ticket. Let's be sure to return it to its rightful owner. Okay. Hello, find anything yet? We just might have what you needed. Um, this one right here. Ah, there it is, that's my ticket. Thank you both so much, it was warned you kicked me out and I'd miss the murder mystery. Oh, a little late while the hands full kicking you out. You're right, I wouldn't leave without a fight. <laughs> Who made me both the microwave expert and the security guard? You're both all right in my book. Thanks again for the assist. Of course. Let us know if you need anything else. All right. What you doing over here, Shadow? Here. Okay. A ticket. Thank you for everything. It's an order, sir. He seems to be concerned about something. Is there anything we can help you with? Do you know something we don't know, Shadow? Do you sell gift bags here? Uh, no, sadly. Uh, but I have a plastic grocery bag in the back I can get for you. Uh, that's there. So cold. Link, you're shivering. Do you need me to fetch your jacket? Uh, no, no, I'm good. All right, well, okay, Shadow. <laughs> Can we add the birthday girl's ticket? Oh, why, certainly. Thank you, miss. And thank you for choosing our fine tra train for your birthday festivities. Well, the birthday discount certainly helped. Who doesn't love a good bargain? And a murder mystery chain just sounds so exciting. It's right up my alley. Who doesn't love a good thrill? You see, I'm a girl who loves a good true kind podcast. Can I not say the R words? Uh, maybe we should leave her to have fun here before we move along. For you, miss. Oh, how fun, thank you. Where do I use this? That unlocks any door on the train. Happy birthday. The birthday girl gets the birthday key. It's practically tradition. Very useful. We'll use this wisely, thank you. All right. May I have your ticket, please, Blaze? Oh, uh, well, there it is. Thank you very much. On top of it, I see. A princess, as such as myself, must always be punctual. Princess? Did she just say princess? If you don't mind me asking, are you visiting from somewhere? A separate dimension, actually. A separate what? Just here for Amy's birthday, then I'll hop back on my own dimension. I quite prefer the birthday cake from this world more than my own, so I admit it, I'm a bit excited. Ho oh, oh, ho oh, ho, don't you say. Well, I hope you enjoy your stay, princess. Should I bow? Do I bow before princess? What are you doing? Please get up. <laughs> Why can I win with this group? All right, last but not least, we got Rouge. Well, hello there, you two. What can I do for you? Good morning, ma'am. Can we get your ticket? My, my, how forward. Let me fetch it for you. Okay, everybody got their ticket. Come back if you need anything else, you hear? Well, she's so polite. Very easy to talk to. Ma'am, I saw you sneak that $20 bill out of my pocket. Who'd have to ask kindly for it back? Oh, this was yours. Must have slipped out. Here you go. 
I may not actually be a best judge of character of character. Okay, everyone time for me to read out everyone's role for the murder mystery And that's my cue to leave. I must prepare the driver's compartment for departure Ah, oh, the conductor's car. You remember our promise. Yeah, you'll do everything in your power to make sure our guests have a safe and enjoyable time on the Mirage Express. Absolutely, you can count on me. To be honest, this group seems plenty capable on their own. And train? <laughs> oh, a train is the entity? Assist links if they need any help, won't you? <laughs> That's all I need to hear. You have my trust. Nothing more heartwarming than a conductor and his train. Excellent, I'll be off. I must take my leave, everyone. Please have a phenomenal time. And don't worry about mugging up the place either. This train state of, is state of the art and has systems for dealing with all of that. For everything else, please talk to Lynx here if you need anything. Sounds good. Absolutely, will do. Goodbye for now. <laughs> I like that guy. Thank you all for following the outfit guide I sent you. You all look amazing. I trust you all read your lore cards as well. Lore cards? Um, that must be the details of their motivations. I suppose it makes sense lore cards aren't read out loud, otherwise people would know the murderer's intentions. Now on to the nitty gritty. For the murder mystery game, one of you will be murdered and the rest suspects. Everyone has assigned roles for characters they will be playing. Participation is required, for it is my birthday. Of course! Birthday girl makes the rules! Sonic, you are a ship captain and you will be stationed in the conductor car. Naturally, that's where captains go. Tails, you are the detective. You'll be in the dining car. Indubitably. Knuckles, you're the sheriff around these parts. We'll find you in the saloon. Got it. Rouge, you're a business tycoon. And Blaze, you're a titan of industry, both in the casino. What's the difference? There's none. <laughs> Mm, sounds fun. Vector, you are the butcher, and Espio the poet, both found in the library. Hear that, Espio? We get to hang out together. And do what, Reed? <laughs> Maybe we can. Make a tower of books or something. Shadow is the locksmith hanging out in the lounge. Hmm. And last but not least, me, the journalist reporter. I'll be moseying around with everyone. Did you get all that? Yeah, I got it all. I memorized every last little bit. I was listening. Hope that's okay. More than all right, you can help ensure everyone's following their rules. Oh, that reminds me. I have a map for each of you. Every one station is marked on the map. How convenient. Map added to your inventory. The rules of the game are as follows. The murderer is amongst you all. And the murderer can kill a single participant however they choose. But you must physically be present with the victim for it to count. Everyone else must collect evidence throughout the train and use it to interrogate fellow passengers to figure out who done it. The murderer will lie to get out of being accused. So inspect everything you can, find clues, and interrogate. I'll set a timer for one hour so everyone can mingle and the murderer can do their thing. Is everyone ready? Sounds like everyone's excited. Everyone to your stations! All right, so we're gonna to have to solve a murder. I am still, is there gonna be a real murder? Like, tiny spoiler alert, this is what happens in the Knives Out movie. It's a, it's a murder mystery party, but someone actually gets murdered. <laughs> uh, this is exciting. <laughs> a mystery is unfolding right under our very noses. I know, how thrilling, I have goosebumps. Same highs as awesome. Shouldn't you two be out there mingling with everyone? Well, actually, the detective and the journalist can't be the murderer. So we're stuck here for an hour before going out and scoping the place. Interesting. Uh, this way, there's a neutral party. That makes sense to me. <laughs> Seems as though Amy's more excited about deciphering the mystery anyways. What do you think everyone's doing? Oh, probably inspecting their stations and talking amongst another. Everyone has roles to play, so they must be exploring their characters. Do you know what their character motivations are, Amy? No, the lore cards are confidential. No one knows but the person who received them. Uh, my backstory was that I was best friends with Flicky that decided to join evil Dr. Eggman, kickstarting my desire for justice in the world. My lore is that I'm a nosy person turned journalist. Not that sounds like fun. <laughs> Which I was stuck, wasn't stuck on microwave duty. What? The train started moving? It's so fast, grab onto something! What's going on? Is this real? I'm slipping! Hold on! I can't! Ah, no! That probably wasn't supposed to happen. Uh, so there's gonna be a real murder. Sonic's actually gonna die! <laughs> You're both awake! Yeah. It seems the train has slowed down considerably. 
Is everyone all right? Yeah, my head's spinning a bit, but I'm okay. It seems we've knocked into the dining cart's closet. This train can reach such incredible speeds. We're getting our money's worth with this experience, that's for sure. Is this actually intended? It's my first day, so I'm not really sure. I don't recall them warning me about this in the interview. We should check on the others. Lynx, could you get the door? Of course. Um, it seems the door's blocked and it's not budging. Amy, give me that the fallen shelf a whack with your Pico Pico hammer. Uh, let's find another way out. Uh, I'll start. Do you not have your Pico Pico hammer? I'll search up for there. I know Amy. She's hiding something. Hmm. Is she trying to kill Sonic? I. That's why she wanted to stay in here. It, it's Amy behind it all. I figured it out already. I. So, because Sonic never wanted to go with Amy. It's the perfect crime. <laughs> I suppose she did wake up before us. Something could have happened. Listen, I know I'm the detective here, but all the de best detectives have sidekicks. I'm going to need your help. Let's gather clues on why Amy is acting this way and interrogate her about it. Check everything you can in the closet and we'll show it to Amy to uncover the full situation. Gather evidence and then interrogate. All right. I'll need you to do everything in your power to make sure your paying guests are taken care of, understood? Understood. Oh yeah, a flashback. That happened like five minutes ago. Okay, you can count on me, Tails. I won't turn evil like your ex flicky companion did. Happy to hear that. Now let's get searching. Okay, so we got four things we can search here. Let's check the trash. Something's always hidden in here. It's empty. On the bright side, it's a very clean trash bin. What about this? Amy's looking at it. A wet floor sign. Huh. Luckily, Sonic was there to catch you at the grocery mart when you fell. Okay, nice story there. Sonic's really fast, but he was going so fast, he slipped on the juice too. And <laughs> we both slid into an older gentleman's shopping cart. Well, it's a thought that counts, I suppose. All right, what about these, uh, what are these? Want me to cook any of this for you? When we get out of here, sure. I normally never make microwave meals. I prefer to cook. My cat's iron skillet has gotten a lot of use lately. I can cook a mean pizza. <laughs> I've only got a microwave lunch just this week. Okay, well, last thing is this. Shelf blocking our e exit. It's currently not budging. Hey, Lynx, look closely. I wonder how this side of the shelf got smashed. There's nothing the shelf could have fallen into. I'm sure this is damage wasn't here before. The train has too much upkeep. I feel like this is important. We should log in. Crack on the shelf. Oh, there's, a, there's something back here. What's this, a rod? The tip is broken. It looks to have originally been attached to something. I'm not sure if it's related to our mystery, but I like spinning around it, so we'll keep it. Stick. I think we found enough clues. Let's interrogate Amy. What's the latest? Find any clues yet? I found a spoon. If I find two more, we can dig ourselves out. Dig ourselves out on a train? Huh. I'll keep looking. Start interrogation. Amy, we believe you're hiding something from us. What? You accuse me on my own birthday? How dare you? This isn't going to be easy, is it? I've been stuck in here just like the two of you. What in the world do you think I'm hiding? Amy was awake before Tails and I were. What could she have done in that time? Murdered, attempt, microwave, a chili dog. Ah, yeah. I told you, I'm not eating until my birthday cake. Uh, let me think this through again. Okay, uh, attempt to escape. I don't think you're sitting idly while Lynx and I were knocked out. You attempted to escape the closet. Prove it. Ah, show me evidence I'll attempt to escape. Lynx, uh, let me... You show a correct piece of evidence, and then once we'll deduct it, we must use the argument to fight back. Uh, this. This one. So what, some damaged shelf is supposed to prove something? Huh. Huh, you have no argument here. You're grasping. Uh, okay, what now? Well, now let's follow this train of thought. How does the cracked shelf relate to Amy? Uh, I have to explain myself. Well, let's see. When I get stumped, I like to think, what would Sonic do? Uh, he's a force to be reckoned with. He's always running forward, collecting reads, crushing back next. He never loses. Like an endless runner game. I play a lot of those on my phone. Yeah, sure, whatever works. Just close your eyes. What would Sonic do? Find your argument. Okay, fire a comeback. Think. What? The, what am I doing? I'm playing a video game now. Oh my, we're ready. Ready and yes, I am good to go. I am, I, I have check marked. <laughs> go. We had to collect 20 rings, apparently. 
I didn't know we were playing a full-fledged Sonic game. This is literally Sonic 2023, the most advanced Sonic game in the history of the world. Oh, I didn't know I was on those. Okay, we got plenty. I we got plenty of thoughts. This means we... Oh, the light bulb. We've done it. Dream gear. Amazing. <laughs> the, sure, the shelf fell, but there's nothing around for the shelf to fall into. You're telling me on this train that's this well kept that the damage was here before we arrived? Well, well I... I believe someone is responsible for hitting the shelf. Y you said nothing was around for the shelf to fall into. What was the shelf hit with then? Have you seen this stick? What is this, a stick? You truly believe a stick would do this kind of damage? Time to think again! <laughs> okay, we gotta collect 25 rings this time. Easy! 26! <laughs> okay, I almost missed that one. Well, we still got it. Alright, I know the right answer. You're right, a stick can't do this damage to the shelf on its own. But if it's attached to something, it could. Like, let's say, a hammer. This isn't a stick at all, is it? It's actually the handle to your Pico Pico hammer. You attempted to hit the shelf out of the way, but you failed. The handle to your hammer snapped right in half. Uh... It's as you both said, I tried to get us out with my hammer, but I failed. I gave the shelf one big whap and the handle ripped right off. I figured it was no big deal and I tried to hide it, but I suppose my embarrassment got the better of me. She does look genuinely sorry about the situation. I never expected your hammer to snap like that, Amy. It was one of my backups. It's a little lighter to carry around. I didn't think I need it. Well, lucky for you, I'm a detective and I dabble as a mechanic. Let me see both the pieces of the hammer. Just tighten things here, a little elbow grease there, and fix tails. Thank you. According to my calculations, if you hit the shelf right here, it should do the trick. All right, stand back. The shelf completely shattered. Incredible. We did it. We're free. Great job, Amy. Let's get out of here. Okay, maybe Amy didn't kill Sonic, but I'm not done with her. She could still be the killer, but we'll move on. Wait, is it? Is that? It can't be. Sonic? Someone murdered my darling Sonic. Wait, is he really dead? Looks like the game has begun. I'm finding out who did this at once. Amy, wait, I I wanna I wanna figure out who did this too. Wait for me. What a whirlwind, I'm exhausted already. That was really convincing, Sonic. Sonic. Uh my butt. No, can't move. What are you saying? I don't understand. I just need rest. Sonic? Is he actually hurt? He's not moving. Are these wounds genuine? My hands on his wrist, but I don't sense the pulse. Am I, I don't sense the pulse? I'm doing this right. What in the world's going on? Is this a part of the murder mystery? Does he know how to stop his pulse? <laughs> Sonic! Oh no, I feel myself panicking. Calm down, Link. What, what do I do? Uh, remember his words. I need you to do everything in your power to make sure our playing guests are taken care of. Understood? These guests are incredibly renowned, which means they must be remarkably rich. So I leave their care to you, like my favorite employee. Surely you will let them down on this last ride. <laughs> ah, I need to catch up with any details to get the bottom of this. Even if this is part of the game, I can't risk it. I'll keep everyone safe, conductor. You'll see. You can't just stop your pulse. He's literally dying. Of course. The murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. Of course, was he murdered? Or did he just smack <laughs> the back of the train too fast and die because we got slammed into a closet and almost died? Literally, this could just be the death of Sonic the Hedgehog, not the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. Whoa, look at this place. Amy, are you here? I've looked around. I don't see her. I think Amy's already gone on ahead. It seems she's really excited. Did she need something from me? Uh, yeah, just a question, really. What if Sonic is actually hurt? <laughs> what is he laughing? Sonic doesn't go down so easily. He's on a train full of his friends. Nothing would actually happen to him. We're all just really committed to the mystery for Amy. You have nothing to worry about. Plus, Sonic likes to nap in a lot of strange spots. He's fine. 
He's making sense, but Sonic literally didn't have a pulse. <laughs> is this really a part of the murder mystery game or is there something deeper happening? I need more evidence. Okay, well, can I tag along? If you don't mind, if it's cool, if I tag along. Of course, now, if I ever need a stack, you've got me. Huh, fair. As I said, the best detectives have sidekicks, so I'm happy to have you. If you ever catch me looking glum, you know it's because, uh, where's my lure card? Mm, the last guy to work a case with me did start practice. <laughs> you couldn't remember that? Not a proctor, proper detective without baggage. This is true. Yeah, vermits. What are you doing, my slut? Uh, he's trying so hard to stay in character. Knuckles, we're trying to figure out who murdered Sonic. I can see that. Amy Moses are through here and tell me all about it. <coughs> Enough of that. Oh my god, I really have to cough now. I wonder how long you kept that voice up for Amy. <laughs> we are wondering how you could tell us uh, what we're up to before the murder. Anything you can help uh, establish an alibi? Nope, I got nothing to tell you either of you. Leave me alone. He's obviously agitated about something, but why take it out on us? I know better than to argue with Knuckles, so it seems we're on our own. Lynx, we need to figure out what Knuckles was up to while we were all apart. Let's investigate for clues and then interrogate. Ah, let's do it. Okay, investigate for clues. There's blood on this cup. Lynx, this is interesting. What is it? I just used a few cups. Sure, but w why are there three? Ah, Knuckles was really thirsty? Ah, there's lipstick on one. Ah, that's not Knuckles color either. Someone must have been here. We should log this. Okay, anything in the trash, you always gotta check the trash, but this one is empty as well. There is a cracked arcade he's on. We won't be able to get give the game Super Monkey Ball a try. Uh, do we think it broke when the train sped up? The damage just looked to be uh, caused by punches. I wonder who could have done that. Uh, what you took look at me for? Smashed Arcade. I think we found enough clues. Let's interrogate Knuckles to find out what really happened. Oh, that was enough clues right there? I thought I told you to leave me alone. Uh, <laughs> I like your hat. <laughs> Knuckles, are you blushing? I said leave me alone. It doesn't look like he's used to being complimented. Did you just adjust your hat a bit so we can see you better? Yeah, I said leave. Interrogation. Let's do this. Knuckles, Link and I need to determine what you're doing the hour the murder took place. I already told you. Buzz off. You're not getting anything out of me. Thankfully, we don't need you to say much. What happened here is pretty obvious. Is it? We have evidence too. I didn't even look at everything, Tails. I looked at two things. <laughs> Just take a good look at our inventory. Um... What was distracting Knuckles? The arcade machine, right? Or was it the drinks? The arcade machine, ha! Huh? What makes you think I touched it? Oh God, we gotta think again. I got 30 rings, no problem. Okay, I got the 30, I got plenty more. 35, should be good. Let's see, let's see. Yeah, yeah you got fist size holes in the arcade machine. Knuckles, she clearly touched the machine because it's covered in punches. And Super Monkey Ball is your favorite game. What evidence do you have that the damages are punches? What are you all staring at my hands for? Knuckles, you clearly destroyed the arcade machine. But why? I needed a punching bag and none were available to me. It's just a sudden urge to punch. I believe repairing the arcade machine will give us an answer. How will you? I'm on it, Lynx. Distract Knuckles while I fix Super Monkey Ball. Bring it up. Am I about to fight Knuckles or am I about to outthink Knuckles? Okay, 30 more. Okay, there we go. 33. Oh, the arcade machine is fixed. No, don't look at the scores. <laughs> Quick, look at the scores. I'm pulling it up now. Oh, what does this tell us? Nothing, obviously. It tells us something massive. Look at the name at the top of the list. It's Vector. He's supposed to be in the library card. Hmm, the picture is the beginning of the painting here. You completed with competed with Vector to see who could score the highest. And Vector beat you. And in frustration, you destroyed the arcade cabinet. Yeah. He's punching the air in frustration. You're guessing. Where's your proof? Where's your evidence? Vector's a common name. 
prove to me he was here now. Uh, yes, I will prove it by collecting more coins. Oh my god, don't get hit, don't get hit. Okay, we're good. 40, beat it. Now, Lynx, what proves Vector here with Knuckles is these cups. For some reason, no. I thought it was strange that there was more than one cup sitting next to you. While you were supposed to be participating in the murder mystery for Amy's birthday, you and Vector enjoyed some drinks playing arcade. It's, uh, it's not like, it's not, uh, 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 don't tell Amy. I think we're on the right track here. It's as you say, Vector popped in at the top of the hour wanting to play the arcade machine with me. We went back and forth trying to figure out the game, but when we did, we completed for, competed for the highest score and he bested me. I destroyed the machine. No proof of his win. I was trying to fix the arcade cabinet before you two came in honest. I didn't want to be caught. And that's my story and alibi. I already told you in a bridge version of this to Amy. Boy, this friend group has a lot of pride issues. Well, that explains one of the used cups. But what about the cup with the lipstick? Rouge was in here too. Yeah, figured. It's inconsequential. Not worth mentioning. She searched around for something but failed. Made fun of our game and left. Obnoxious, that one. But you offered her a drink, apparently? Listen, I don't know why she showed up and I've told you everything that happened before the train sped up. Are you not satisfied? Will you two relent? Hmm. I'm understanding the scenario. Vector visited to play games. Rouge couldn't find something and left. Then Knuckles destroyed the machine. That all makes sense to me. Thank you for answering so many of our quest. Actually, that's not everything, is it, Knuckles? I want to step back to something I noticed. One more name on the high score list doesn't make sense. Lynx, can you take a look one more time? Odd name? Um, that bread? Eh, not that one. You made me go to bread. I have to check the. <laughs> I can't click on anything else. Ultima? With the who here goes by Ultim? You may not know Lynx, but there's someone who goes by that title. The ultimate life form. Uh, is there really someone here that goes by that? The ultimate life form? The one that created to be the ultimate life? Nothing sticks by you, does it, bud? Vector and I were struggling so much with that game, but then Shadow dropped by. So Shadow was here too. He taught us the game and was the first to get his name on the scoreboard. Victor and I fought to beat Shadow score. They're both very annoying. You all immediately had to compete, huh? He gave me this before he left. A key. Shadow told me to lock the door and not to open it for anyone. Then he left. When Vector was leaving, I locked the door behind him. Saw no one else after locking the door. That's the honest truth. So when Amy came through here not too long ago, did you open the door for her? No, I think she has some sort of key. Yeah, she does. The conductor key. Well, I have a lot of questions. What happened to the library to cause Vector to come here? Why is Shadow locking doors? And what was Rouge searching for? I don't know. They didn't tell me. Even though I asked with that cowboy accent. <laughs> You're going to have to find them in Azamir's elf. Okay, well, more information than I expected, but it seems we can move on. As of right now, I believe your story, Knuckles, but we have to confirm it with Vector. Okay, the library cart is open. Give whoever knocked out Sonic an earful for me, Detective Tails and Butler. I liked it better when he wasn't talking to us. Will do, Sheriff. Come on, Lynx. Let's head to the library. On it. Yeah. Sonic's still dead back there. <laughs> okay. Come on. Let's go. Ready to mosey down? You got it, partner. Ah, the library car. Hang in there, chow. Hang in there. We're all gonna make it. All this stuff's getting heavy. I'll dump what I don't need. Everyone's favorite journalist reporter, Amy Rose, is hot on the scoop. I'm heading out. You've been fabulously helpful. Already? Before you go, Espio and I wanted to give you your presents. My presents? <laughs> You're both so sweet. Thank you. Hmm. Vector, it seems we uh, have more guests. Amy, there you are. Um, have you found any leads? Oh, the detective pair needs help from the birthday girl. Uh, she knows everyone's allowed to be sassy on a birthday. This tip is just too juicy to ignore. I'll see you all around. Don't worry, Sonic. I'll be the one to avenge you and quick. But how are you going to leave? The door to the next car is locked. 
Oh, you doubt the birthday girl. The birthday girl has a master key. All right, right. The birthday girl gets the birthday key. Of course, it's a birthday privilege. I'll solve this case before anyone else. Bye. Amy may be hasty, but she's thorough. Now, what are you two doing? Looking mighty suspicious, I say. I'm the detective, so I can't be the murderer. And I'm, uh, uh, here to ask if everyone's hungry. <laughs> Starved. I'll kill for some chicken parmesan right now. Maybe kill isn't the right language to use right now. I'm Vector, the butcher. I'm licensed to handle raw meat. I'm Espio, the poet. Uh, poetry. A resonant message of a poet to a reader meant to challenge our delicate perspective on the most rhythmic of prose. Can I hear some? <laughs> sure. Uh, teardrops in spring. Can you hear me sing? La 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 d d d. Was that it? I have more if you like. Cherry blossoms in spring. Uh, I'm uh, satisfied for now, thanks. At least he's rhyming, I suppose. Links and I are here to establish both of your alibis. Can you walk us through what happened after Amy had everyone leave the dining car? Oh, sure, it's simple. We just explained this to Amy, actually. When we all were sent off, Rouge, Blaze, Shadow, and Sonic all passed through the library card. Yeah, they all have to go through there. Where Amy told me an Espio to stay. I promptly picked a book off the shelf and made myself look comfortable. Vector got bored, so he left to see what Knuckles was up to in the saloon car. Yep. Uh, where's Rouge? We happened to see her lipstick stain on the cup at the saloon car. Rouge came over to the library car, seemingly looking for something. And when she, w then she went to search the saloon car. She came back shortly after. We heard her shout, "No way!" at the brochure stand over there. But she left back to the casino car before her shadow came through and locked the door. Wonder what she's found. She's obviously been on the hunt for something. After Rouge left, Shadow walked through the casino car, then entered the library car and locked the door behind him. More importantly, why has Shadow been locking doors? Shadow walked through the library car to the saloon car where him and Knuckles were playing games. He insisted on showing us Super Monkey Ball. I got so engrossed by the rolling monkey action, I hardly noticed when Shadow left the saloon car. I guess he walked through the library car to the casino car again, locking the door behind him. And then returned to the lounge where he was meant to be stationed. How did Sonic end all the way back up at the beginning, though? That's the question. All the doors were locked, right? When Vector came back, he realized Knuckles locked the doors to the saloon car. We were stuck in the library car. That's when the train sped up. We were worried about the bookshelf falling on us, but we got through it all right. We sat trapped here until Amy came uh, asking questions. She's the one that told us someone murdered Sonic. And yeah, that's all that happened. Hmm. All these locked doors seems Vector and Espio couldn't have left the library car or saloon car. Thank you both for cooperation. We're going to peek around and return with any questions. If you return with any meat, I'll chop it up for ya. And if you'd like to be serenaded with a poem, I've got you covered too. Thanks guys. Uh, their alibi seems solid, but we should still search for clues. We're looking for any evidence that proves what they're saying is true. Okay. And determine if they're here. We can do it. Let's get to the bottom of this. So, Amy looked at this. Somebody looked at this brochure thing. Their travel destinations, ideas, amusement parks, hotels, restaurants. Oh. Links, look at this. There's a couple maps here. It seems to be a map of the library card. The books here are organized by genre. I love a good overhead map. Let's take it. Library map. Should we take this brochure about the cave too? Looks to be stalactites. I'll leave it. Ah, that's fair. Nobody shares my fondness for caves. Check these books. Wow, I wish I could stop and look at all these books. But Sonic needs me. No time to rest. All right, let's move on then. Well, I mean, a little peek wouldn't hurt. He's scavenging through all the book titles excitedly. He's like a kid in a candy shop, or in this case, a genius in a train library. That's odd. I know some books have fallen out on the floor and everything, but every book on this shelf is in alphabetical order, but this one, the Mirage Express Manual. Do you think someone found it on the ground and put it back? Maybe, but it is interesting. Let's take, somebody's trying to figure out how this train works. Interesting. Shadow supposedly walked through the library card before going into the saloon car. 
When Shadow left the library car, he locked this door on his way out. There's gotta be a reason he's doing this. Should we make a note of it? Yeah, I do believe we should. Shadow's lock added to inventory. I think we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Vector. Oh yeah, let's just go interrogate him. Uh, did you bring me any meat to chop? I may be a butcher, but they confiscated my meat cleaver before getting on the train. You actually tried to bring a knife on a train? Suspicious. I'm a man of authenticity, Tails. Without a knife, I'm just a chef in a ketchup stained apron, not a butcher. I think if you had a knife on you, we definitely think you were the murderer. Mm. But what if I hid the knife? You know, I'm not the biggest fan of this line of thought. Let's start this interrogation. So the two of you still believe us, eh? It's not that I don't trust either of you, but I wouldn't be a proper detective without examining the validities of your alibis. Lynx and I are here to confirm two things. Why Vector left to go play games with Knuckles, and if Espio really was reading in the library car. Vector, we'll start with you. Why did you leave the library car to visit Knuckles? We're prepared to present the evidence if need. Oh, that's easy. I got bored. What? I wasn't entertaining him enough, it seems. Vector enjoys being social. Plus, we were instructed to mingle. I remember the arcade machine was in the saloon car, so I figured I'd go check it out. That seems to line up with the information we gathered with Knuckles. Then that brings our attention to you, SBO. Rouge entered the library car and found something and then left. You said you immediately started reading, but were you actually reading the entire time you were in the library car? Of course he was. Once SPO starts reading, he doesn't stop until it's done, so I've seen it happen. It must have been a good read. What was the book? SPO doesn't owe you that, detective. Let the man live. What if it was embarrassing? What kind of things do you think I read? If you won't talk, I have a hunch on what might the book be. Lynx, could you help me out? Alright, what book could he have been reading? The manual? The manual? You think SPO is reading instructions? What argument could you have to possibly support this? I guess I'm going to have to collect coins on it. Easily got the coins. There are books scattered around the floor, sure, but the remaining books are in the alphabetical order, all except this manual, meaning somebody was very least picked up the manual up and put it back in the incorrect place. This lack of attention to detail isn't normally for you, SPO. Hey now, I won't have you insulting my pal like this. Calm down, Victor. I know you mean well, but I can handle myself. Apologies, SBO. A butcher and a poet. A friendship can form anywhere. That is indeed the book I was reading. The Mirage Express Manual. Trains are cool. In that case, we'd like to ask you a few questions about the manual. Lynx, if you don't mind. Could you ask SBO some questions about the manual? Just flip through any page and ask. Okay. Uh, what page? Let's do uh, 97. Okay. What efficient, extremely accurate technology was installed to assist in keeping the train spotless? Robotic arms. During the events, they can perform a variety of tasks and are responsible for cleaning up trash and messes afterwards. I remember the conductor saying the train can clean itself, though I have a feeling the train company just didn't want to hire any janitors. The robotic arms can also detect weapons and explosives being brought onto the train, ensuring passenger safety. Seems like SBO aced that question, Lynx. Hit him with another one. Okay, hit him with another one. Let's do page 231. Huh? It's farther back. Cancellation policy. No refunds and you will be charged with a no-show fee. This does not apply if you're over the age of 65. Ah, uh, the person who made this roll must be over 65. Last one, Lynx. Let's go for three for three. 402. That's at the very back. Uh, what was implemented to support the conductor's duty and erase general train obligations? An intelligence data processing system. It works in tandem with the conductor to ensure smooth travel for guests. I remember this. The train has an autopilot, but it can't get access to a full suite of capabilities without conductor presence. <laughs> now, did I pass your little test? Yes. Yes, it did. Totally. It's wild you were able to retain all this information so quickly. A poet's brain is often surprising. I don't know if I'd be bragging about that. You've clearly read the manual. Those answers feel far too specific to be guesses. And you both have the nerve to ask a question for my buddy like that. Don't you want to be supporting folks who read? Okay. Uh, SPL checks out. If you admit though, reading the entire time a murder occurred does sound a bit suspicious, even if it is true. But he answered all my questions so calmly. That's very impressive. No, no. I understand everyone's cautious attitudes. Vector was the only one to see me reading after all. My alibi is hard to substantiate, despite being the truth. 
Well, you definitely read through the manual, so I suppose we can. SPO, is that true? Petra was the only one seeing you reading? Yes, that's correct. Problem? Frankly, I don't believe that can be true. And we have evidence to back it up. Links? Yo, he always puts me on the spot. Okay, what evidence could we show? Obviously, Shadow's Lock has been opened, but it was gone through by Shadow's Lock. Yeah. <laughs> what does that have anything to do? We're up, Lynx. Let's put our arguments. Shadow saw you because he put the lock. Come on, let's do this. Shadow walked through the library card to get to the slum car. Where he set the high score on the arcade machine. Yeah, but I ended up beating it. It wasn't the high score for long. Crocs are natural gamers. As Peel said, he saw Shadow enter the library card, but he's mentioned nothing about Shadow's return. He only mentioned that Vector came back. When Shadow left Knuckles in Vector's saloon car, Espio was fully seated and reading his book for a good while at that point. We know Shadow had to walk back through the library card when he left the saloon car, so there's absolutely no way Shadow and Espio didn't notice one another on Shadow's return trip. I mean, it was a, a simple slip up. I was just fully immersed in my book that I didn't notice, Shadow. You're telling me the sound of doors opening and locking wouldn't have caused you to look up? Well, I, I see. I can sense Espio's desperation here. Defending the argument that he was reading the entire time isn't easy. So if you didn't see Shadows returning from the saloon car to lock all the doors, then at that moment, you were really in the library car at all. You weren't in there. But how would Espio leave? Shadow locked all the doors and no one saw Espio in the saloon car. It's a mystery, my dear Lynx. One that I would love for Espio to solve. You gotta believe me. The cold demeanor is vanishing. I was so in insolved with my book that I didn't notice Shadows passed back through the library card honest when vector returned he had to tap me on the shoulder to get my attention yeah i think i remember doing that i must avenge my friend's death so i'll ask you again sbo if you weren't there for shadow to see you reading then how did you leave the library card i uh, was a uh, uh, did it uh why doesn't this seem right to me tails definitely feels like he's onto something but i don't see it was F SPO simply reading, or did he somehow vanish to not notice Shadow's return to the library car? What should I do? Uh, join Tails, because it looks like SPO's breaking. Uh, he's onto something. Let him continue this line of questioning. My favorite and beloved employee, please protect the passengers aboard the train. They must be. <laughs> if you fail, lawsuits will be torturous. Don't allow such an old feeble soul to get sued. Uh, okay. <laughs> I have to make sure our guests are taking I have to speak up. Tails, we have a piece of evidence that can answer all of our problems. All right, my fellows. Oh, we do. We do have a piece of evidence. The library map. All right, now let's get our thoughts in order. They were probably sitting in different parts of the library. It makes sense. I should have probably looked at the library map, but uh, you look at it. You see, uh, SPL is probably like right over here and Shadow. Yeah, I mean, you know, if Shadow walked around the straight path, there's a way SPL and Shadow couldn't have seen each other. Looks like you have to point out exactly where on the map you mean. Where could have SPL been for Shadow not to see him? I don't know. This? Interesting. That's where I was sitting reading my book. I second this. When I returned from my saloon car, SPL was in the same spot. That confirms it. Then, you see, Shadow and SPO couldn't have seen each other from this spot because a bookcase was in the way. There's no way Shadow could have seen SPO or vice versa. Makes a lot of sense. Uh, why you never mentioned Shadow's return, SPO? There's no way you could have seen them. I apologize for losing my cool back there. I was just grasping dis despite telling the truth. But I'm glad you all believe me now. Your alibi is in the most airtight, but I have no further points. Thanks both of you for answering all our questions. We did it. Another pair's alibis validated. Okay, so we got Knuckles cleared, SPO cleared, uh, Vector cleared. I'm exhausted. I'm gonna crash here a bit. These chairs are so comfy. Likewise, I could use a breather. Sadly, our work isn't done. I have plenty of questions for Rouge and especially Shadow. Oh, it seems the door to the next car is open. Amy must have kept it open while she passed through. Then that's our cue to leave. See you later, Vector and Espio. Give them heck. And if you need any meat chopped up, say the word. I'll keep my poetry sharp for you both. A murderer is on the loose while the doors keep getting locked. Tick tock tock goes the clock while our heroes are in the caboose. Okay, I'm feeling pretty confident in our detective abilities. We're really doing this. Come on, Lance. 
Let me show you what's next. Come in. Okay. You sure? Nah, I don't want to. Yeah, uh, the mystery calls. <laughs> the investigation continues. Ah, the casino car. All right, must have been fun in here. <laughs> All this stuff is getting heavy. I'll dump what I don't need. Rouge, there you are. We have a lot to say to you. We visited every train car so far, and everyone said they've seen you wandering about. At time, time, you told us why. My, my, don't talk about a warm welcome. <laughs> oh, quick to the point, aren't you, darling? And I see you brought the microwave master with you. Uh, please don't let that be my legacy. Kales is right. Folks have brought you up a lot. Care to explain? Tell him, Rouge. We're going to need the help. Blaze? All right. I've been hunting for a treasure rumor, rumor to be stored here on the train. Treasure? They didn't tell me about treasure. Since I'm part of the business tycoon, part purveyor of fine collectibles, I knew I had to find it. Tell him what it is, Rouge. All right. Well, it's the Fourbage de Cha egg. Wow, that sounds extravagant. But please don't tell me you've accepted Amy's birthday invite only to find that egg. A woman can have multiple goals. I gave Amy her birthday present already, so everything's well taken care of. She wrote me in on the hunt immediately. I stayed here while she searched the train car for clues. I deduced that the Fourbage de Cha egg is in here in this train car, locked in the safe. Wait, so the treasure is real? It's actually here? And it's, what did you manage to find, Rouge? Oh, well, why don't you both take a look? Uh-huh, 230401, huh? I found the train's blueprints in the library card with a safe code written on it. A score of a lifetime. The train's blueprints? Let us see that. Uh, finders keepers, sweetheart. The problem, we need your assistance. What kind of problem? The elevator behind the security guard leads us to the room holding the Fabage Chaweg. But we're not going to get anywhere without the guard's access card. We need a plan to get the card to use the elevator and our chance of a success grows with everyone's help. So you want us to help you steal the Fabergé Chog Egg. Uh, Blaze, you don't have a problem with this. I see no issues here. Sounds like a fine business venture. Ah, uh, her lore card must be influencing her decisions here. Either that or breaking the rules must be refreshing for a princess. Thanks, do you have an opinion on this? Uh, stealing is for squares. I think the only square is you, microwave master. I must admit, that wasn't the coolest thing I've heard someone say. <laughs> My reputation is crumbling. All right, I'm in, I'll help. Well, I suppose if both Blaze and Lynx are in. Okay, let's get that chow egg. Haha, <laughs> that's a ticket. Happy to have you both on the team. Now we must plan. Oh boy, what have we gotten ourselves into? Accessing the egg room is behind a locked elevator door. The security guard has access card. Do we uh, distract the guard? Perfect. We're all charming enough for that to work. And actually, that's a really nice thing to say. Thanks to everything you gave. I've never seen you smile like that. Oh yeah, it's great. Seems they don't know how to take a compliment. <laughs> if I'm going to be in a casino, my poker face needs work. Okay, who's distracting the security guard uh let's say blaze she's from another dimension you know ah in my life i have never let a single person down i won't falter great her voice was stoic i have chills well i trust her moving on what's the distraction uh ask the chow about their partner and kids a claw machine is stuck perfect who put a claw machine in a casino? <laughs> this will work great as a distraction. Let's continue the plan. With the guard distracted, Rouge, how will you get in the access card? Uh, grab it up and fly. Pick their pocket. I'll snatch the access. She took the $20 earlier. The chow in uniform won't notice a thing. Excellent. We can count on you, Rouge. Try not to take anything else from them, if you can help it. No promises. With the card obtained, we need to get Blaze out of there. Lynx, what's your plan? Uh, am I gonna have to remember all of this? They say there's a drink without a coaster. Absolutely vile. I can't think of nothing worse. <laughs> Despicable. I would never allow such a thing in my kingdom. The guard will go running immediately. I'm sure of it. Great. And with the guards distracted, we'll all head to the elevator. And just like that, we'll make it to the elevator inside. We... A celebratory dance. 
Yeah, that's the proper victory. Oh no, one last security measure we didn't ask for. What do we do about the mechanical arms attacking from the ceiling? Oh, so, uh, high five them. Hi, uh, Tails gonna disable them. I should be able to disengage them. I'll just need some time. Well, that leads us to our next question. Tails is taking a while and his arms are tightening the grip. Uh, <laughs> Pretend there's nothing wrong. Tails managed to do it. Darlings, I'm happy to say the plan is perfect. If everyone's ready, it's time to execute. I'm ready. Let's begin. All right. Let's see what's up that elevator. Let us go. Oh, breaking in. We're getting this egg. We're selling it for money. Uh, I knew the plan would go off without a itch. We couldn't have made it this far without you both. You have my gratitude. Our planning beforehand was very thorough. I must admit, is there like a wrong way to do it? I don't know. <laughs> and it was executed to perfection. Enough chatter. Now we claim our real prize. I have the safe code right here in the blueprints. Let's get the egg. Ha ha ha. All right. No question. This has to be the safe with our treasure. Enter the code and the blueprints to find out. 230401. Oh, wow. Here it is. I have it. All right, before anyone sees us, let's get out of here. Hold on, kiddo. We can't be so hasty. You truly think that's all there is to this egg? No further secrets whatsoever. Rouge, spit it out. What are you hiding? Only three of these eggs were ever made, each hiding their own individual secret. No one knows the secret because anyone who's opened the, these has never lived to tell the tale. You can open the egg? You sure can. And all you will bear witness to is secret. Rouge, I don't know if you should. All you need to do is twist it. Tick, tick, it's a bomb. Get out of there. <laughs> uh, uh, Rouge has lived. No one else has lived to tell the secret because the H egg is a bomb. That's what's going on. I think you're onto something, kid. <laughs> it sure sounds like a bomb. We need to dispose of that egg now. Dispose of it. After all of hard work, Rouge. Fine, fine. But what do we do? Where do we put this thing? Excellent question. Let's let it finish ticking and see what happens. Do it. Are you insane? You just want us to blow up? We need to dispose of the bomb. Oh, listen. But what if the egg isn't a bomb? Wait, that's right. I think you're onto something. Nah, that's right. Spit it out, kiddo. We don't have time. Sorry, it's just SPO did say something interesting when we quizzed him about the train's manual earlier. Eh. Oh! Oh! Big brain! Big brain! <laughs> Barely! <laughs> By complete luck! Yeah, so the robotic arms on the trains prevent any explosives being brought onto the train. Meaning, this egg cannot be a bomb. All right, you see those elevators uh, attack? They thought that was a threat to the Farage egg. They wouldn't have detected that the egg as a bomb if they would not have allowed it and other stuff like this. So knowing me, knowing this information, well, let's just see what happens. Okay, we wait. Okay. All right. Is it, 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 what's the secret? The egg, it opened, it's hollow, not a bomb at all. You both really were onto something. Whew, my, my, well that was one way to get the heart racing. I'm completely relieved. My hunch is right, thankfully. And look what's inside, ooh, look at that sparkle. Honestly, that looks pretty cool. <laughs> it's so heavy too. The final secret of the egg. It's a chow covered in gems. It's perfect. It's exquisite. It's revolutionary. Is she drooling over a sparkly ornament? Although I must admit, it is stunning. You said no one lived to tell the tale of the Farbojé chow egg secret? Wonder why the egg wasn't a bomb? Because they weren't as tough as us. I don't know. Who cares? What a precious treasure. A beauty to behold. Maybe they naturally died of old age and just kept the secret to them. Uh, as much fun as, fun as this has been, we should get out of here before we're spotted. Good call. Let's go. All right, well, we still need your alibi, right? Like, that wasn't really an alibi. We just stole something. <laughs> Nobody suspects anything. All right, thank you both for your assistance. That hunt was exactly the thrill I was seeking. Stealing was strangely fun, but I prefer never to do it again. No Rouge. Rouge. She's completely absorbed in that bedazzled chow. What, what? What is it, darling? What about those blueprints? Now that you're done with them, maybe we can take a look? While I appreciate your assistance, it is, as I said, finders keepers. I'll need them a little longer in case I miss any other treasures, but I promise to let you take a peek later. I don't want to sound ungrateful, but I'm sure you get it, sweetheart. 
You just can't add a sweetheart to the end of the sentence to make things better. But I don't think there's any reasoning with her. She's more powerful than me. Well, we'll get out of our way for now then. We have a murder mystery to attend to. Before you go, Shadow gave me and Rouge one of these. He passed through earlier. I came. Got it. Let me unlock the door so you can continue forward. You know, yeah, a lot of people mention you, Rouge. But we also have a lot of... As much suspicion as Shadow. He's unpredictable, that one. Good luck to you. The door's unlocked. Both of you stay safe. Thanks again. It could be Blaze. Come on. I mean, where was Blaze? We know Rouge went to the other cart. Uh, the saloon. And then she came back. But where was Blaze the whole time? Ready to get going? Uh, yeah, let's find Shadow. Like, uh, hello? We're not going to question them? We just ate them in thievery and we're not even going to question what they're doing there? Are we, are we doing the right thing here, Tails? Now's a good time as any to clean out my pockets. I know you won't talk, but I know exactly why you've been locking those doors. It's hard to get a word in as you talk over me. I have my reasons. No reason is convincing enough. It's inconceivable what you did. Hey, hey, what's going on? Uh, I see you made it here, Tails. But I didn't expect the Iron Chef as well. Uh, we'll see what you say when your microwave chili dog is this delicious. Uh, I'd like to also know why you've been locking doors throughout the train, Shadow. Well, it seems Amy already knows, so ask her. <laughs> I'm not saying a thing. You will have to tell me why. Now, if all you could leave me be, I have an appointment coming up. An appointment? He, who wants to meet him? Well, thanks. It seems Shadow isn't going to talk. Let's do some investigating. All right. Time to find some answers. Indubitably, my dear Lynx. Okay. Yeah, well, there seems to be some keys. Hmm? Hmm? A key ring? That must be Shadows, the locksmith. Interesting. There's only two keys. I figured a locksmith would have a bunch. Want to take it? Yeah, let's take it. Key ring added to your inventory. Obviously, we got to check the trash. No, Tails. I think we should check the trash bin. Every trash bin. Why do you not want to check the trash bin, Tails? Huh? You trying to hide something in there, Tails? Huh? There's always something in the trash bin. <sighs> All right, let's check the trash bin. Uh, what's this? Ha 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 ha. Ah. <laughs> Someone printed out the front page of a ticket website. It's for the band Hot Honey. Interesting. Hot Honey is one of Amy's favorite bands. Who cares what it is? Let's add it to our inventory. Amy's favorite band. So Shadow killed Sonic because Sonic was going on a date with Amy, huh? Are we sure this isn't just trash? I'll let you have this. There's always success if you check the trash bin. Got a wardrobe. Lynx, could you open the wardrobe, please? Sure. Uh, wait, is there a reason you want me to do it? What if something falls out or worse? Someone leaps out. I think you should just do it. Open the wardrobe. Watch a pro. <laughs> All that dust. You opened the door too fast. It blew everywhere. <laughs> oh, we got a pull string. Secret compartment. Tails, do you see this? A pull string. Lynx. What? It's got to activate something. What the heck? The back of the wardrobe open. And there's a passageway back here. Come on. We have to see where this leads. He's curious. This must mean something big. Huh? This is the library. There's a secret passage from the lounge to the library. I don't believe it. Quick, let's get back. Okay. Well, they spot. Okay. 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 How does that help me? <laughs> we need to add that to our inventory. Hidden passage added to your. I think we found enough clues. Go interrogate Shadow and find out what really happened. All right, Shadow. Why did you come over here? There's nothing I can help with either of you. I ask that you leave me be. That stair is so cold. You know, maybe we will get out of here, actually. Lynx, we certainly will not start the interrogation. Shadow, we have questions for you. Will you three get us out? I'm busy. Uh oh, as I said, I have an appointment to attend to. Sorry, but this is important. Shadow, we questioned everyone on this train and every single person has messaged, messes, mentioned running into you. <laughs> You've been unlocking every door in this train and and I know why. Uh, pray tell, why was I locking all the doors? Time to reveal my hot tip. Hope everyone's ready for a scoop found by yours truly. We're ready. According to the map, the next car is the conductor's car where Sonic was stationed. This door right here in the lounge car is the only door that leads to the conductor's car following. So Shadow was locking all the doors 
for one reason and one reason alone. To keep Sonic from escaping the conductor's car. Ah, so you think Shadow was trapping Sonic? I sure do. He locked the conductor's car and all the other cars so no one locked the door wasn't suspicious. Well, the locked door was suspicious. Pure conjecture, you all. Get out and leave me be. Well, my source can back up these claims. They will remain anonymous, but I think the point stands. My source claims they never saw Sonic again after he went to the conductor's car. Why? Because he was trapped and couldn't leave the conductor's car. Reckless speculation. Is the logic sound though? Was Shadow trapping Sonic? And how did he end up on the other side though? I'll, I'll play along and follow this train of logic, Amy. If Shadow did lock the door to the conductor's car, imprisoning Sonic, then how was Sonic found in the dining car? Exactly. I think Link and I can explain the car change, however. Links, what evidence do we have that shows Sonic could have gotten into the dining car? The trap door? The hidden passage? I think so. Links and I found a hidden passage in the wardrobe that leads right to the library card. What? A secret passage? So someone could have used that passage, snuck through the library card, walked past and distracted the boys playing arcade, and safely arrive at the dining car. Excellent work, Lynx. Huh, is it Espio? This adjusts my theory a little bit. Maybe Espio was on his way out and I don't know. So Shadow murdered Sonic in the conductor car and then thought the crime scene being so close to the station was suspicious. Shadow picked up Sonic, locked the door to the conductor car on the way out and dropped the body off at the dining car. Who can anybody drop a body off? Well, somebody's gonna see that, right? Are you officially accusing Shadow of murder? I am, but of course, that's just a theory. And I uh, don't uh, have any evidence to back this up other than my hot scoop. Uh, seems Tails and I were more thorough than you. If Shadow's not going to talk then, I'll humor you once again. If Shadow traveled through the hidden passes and appeared in the library car, then how did Espio and Vector not see him? Well, uh, I suppose it would be hard to sneak around two people. Lynx, do you have any guesses? Well, Espio and Vector didn't see Shadow because... Vector was with Knuckles, for sure. Vector was with Knuckles and wouldn't have been seen Shadow entering the library car. See, things are falling into place. But what about Espio? He was behind a bookshelf at a table reading, allegedly. SPO reading in the library checks out, that's what he told me too. He's lying. What was that, Shadow? When I completely obliterated Knuckles and Vector at whatever the game, I left the saloon car. I spent some time looking for SPO, but he was not there. He was not in the library car. Like I'd believe you, you're currently my number one suspect. Why were you even searching for SPO, huh? And you must know, I needed to give him a key. As if, why would a locksmith giving his keys away shadow's been giving away a lot of keys actually everyone but us seem to have one that's true everyone's been able to unlock the door for us i didn't know that shadow's been passing out keys perhaps links and i can further validate shadow's claims what evidence do we have probably the key ring that feels good we got to think about it though were my thoughts hard enough there's only one reason there's exactly two keys on that key ring those were the two keys Shadow meant to give Espio and Vector. No way. Well, what of his own key? Couldn't he be one for him? I have my own key on me. Interesting. So let's say Shadow's telling the truth, then what? If Shadow didn't murder Sonic and bring him to the dining car, then what possible reason could he have for locking all the doors? Uh... She's right, her theory's strong. Tails and I certainly haven't presented any possibility. Is Shadow really innocent in Sonic's murder? I think Lynx and I know exactly why Shadow is locking all the doors. Why does he keep including me? First, Amy, I have a question for you. Has everyone today given you a birthday present? Oh, most everyone, yeah, everyone's been so sweet. Just uh, Shadow and Sonic haven't given me anything yet, but that's okay. Just free being here is enough. Understood, thank you, Amy. Lynx? Uh, yes, Tail. I have a theory, but I need a piece of evidence to support it. We all know Shadow walked through every train car locking the exits, and he gave everyone station and the cars a key. Except for you, me, and Amy. That's right. So why would he lock all the doors and not give us a key? Uh, Shadow... Couldn't find us? Maybe. But Shadow knew Amy, you and I started in the dining car. He could've given us a key if he wanted to. Okay, so maybe he wanted to keep us away. Locking all the doors to keep us away? Not us, Lynx. I'm making a deep 
a leap here, but stick with me. I think Shadow was trying to keep Amy away. Uh, what? Excuse me? Shadow would never do that. It's my birthday. You know it's my birthday, right? Don't you, Shadow? Uh, how dare you, Link? Show me the evidence. Uh, if Shadow was trying to keep me away, prove it. You've been so thorough or whatever. What proof do you have? Okay, think. Oh, uh, I guess Shadow wanted to give this band concert thing to her, but then changed his mind. Come on, I thought real hard there. I thought real hard. You went rooting through the trash. Huh, what is that? We found this trash bin next to the printer. A hot honey ticket band website. Tails don't. <gasps> this is a hot honey website. No way, I love them. Uh, hot honey? It's the band I'm currently in. So the Jeremy B inside is my favorite. <laughs> All the members have B after their name. Uh, yes, this isn't cute. I haven't gotten to any other shows yet, but to see them, oh, their tickets are really hard for us to get. You'd have to be ready online at a specific time and they sell out in minutes. So the question becomes, why was this paper found in the train car Shadow was stationed in? Watch yourself, Fox. Is The situation is becoming clear. I don't know how Tails figured it out so soon, but I see where he's headed. The printout of the Hot Honey Band Ticket website exists because Shadow was buying tickets for Amy. Is this true? Are you trying to give me concert tickets for my birthday? I've done a poor job of hiding the surprise, it seems. Yes, I'm trying to get you concert tickets for your birthday. Sh Shadow, I used that printer earlier and I found it difficult to manage. When logging on the website, did you print the homepage by accident? How the, yes, that's exactly what happened. I'm not fantastic with the computers, admittedly. I can't believe this. After I accused you of a murder, spill everything, shadow the couch out of the bag. I want to know everything. Fine. The surprise is ruined anyway. Huh, probably our fault. Uh, sorry. That's all a detective's job is, I suppose. Huh. When I arrived on the train, I realized everyone else had a gift except for me. Worried for my social status, I immediately began brainstorming ideas and saw the computer. I remember Amy had never seen Hot Honey Live and looked it up, and that's when I accidentally printed the homepage. The concert tickets weren't actually on sale, I realized, but would be available soon. Is that the appointment you kept speaking of? The time you were able to actually buy the concert tickets? Precisely. I haven't purchased the tickets yet. I knew I had to keep Amy away long enough to buy the tickets, so I began locking all the doors. But for the safety of everyone, I handed out keys so they can get in and out, telling them not to let anyone through. It didn't work. Amy still managed to make it here somehow. It's because the conductor gave me this. The master key world. I can get through any door. The plan's fatal flaw, the birthday key. I should have guessed. It's a well-known privilege. Shadow Eye, your gesture is so sweet. And after I accuse you two, how about this? Let's buy the tickets later and make it up to you, and you can come with me. I, uh, don't know if... Too late, it's happening. I can't wait. The show of a lifetime. Uh, fine. Happy birthday, Amy. <laughs> I expect lots of pictures and from the concert from you two. Hmm. Seems like the mystery of Shadow's locked door has finally reached the end. I blame my source for all this. That wasn't a hot tip at all, leading me to believe Shadow was behind everything. My credibility as a journalist reporter down the drain. Amy, I am curious. Who is the source of your uh, big scoop? I would like to know as well. Sorry, strictly confidential. My credibility may be shot, but my principles must stay intact. I have a strong feeling I know exactly who your source is. But we need to investigate one last area, the conductor car. I'll come with you. I love to know who's been dragging my name through the mud. And I'll join you as well. Time to see this through to the end. We're more happy to have you both. Links, I hate to say it, but I believe our investigation is coming to a close. The pieces are coming together. The picture is becoming fuller. Let's end this, Tails. We'll pin it, pin down Sonic's murderer for good. Right on. Let's do this. Okay, so it's either Espio or Blaze, because we didn't clear Blaze in any way whatsoever. <laughs> Ready to go to the conductor car? Let's finish it. It's now or never. Oh, conductor car. This place looks kind of cool. But how does... I, you still have to bring Shadow through the saloon. I guess if they're playing games, they won't notice, you know, Sonic's body going through the back. Um, I should sort my evidence before we continue. I haven't visited the conductor train. It feels empty. Where's the conductor? That's odd. I haven't seen him throughout the train at all. Last time we saw him, he uh, left the dining car. Something clearly happened here. Nothing we can't figure out. Come on, time to investigate. Let's crack on. Okay. Okay, we got something on the floor here. What is this? Is someone playing darts? 
That's not a throwing dart. That's a blow dart. Oh, somebody brought a weapon onto this train. Uh, that shouldn't be possible. Tails is right. The train detects any weapons on the passengers before they let them aboard. Let's make note of this. Blow dart added to your inventory. Well, there's an arm here that's also broken. This robot arm has been completely torn off. Yuck, how creepy. That arm is powerful. It should be tough to break out of its grip. A lot of people here have the strength to tear this off, but the question is why? A confrontation definitely occurred in this room. We should log this. Aye, aye, sir. Broken robot arm added to your inventory. I think we found enough clues. Let's talk to Amy and solve this once and for all. We have enough clues? What? <laughs> well, you two think you have enough evidence for me to call everyone here? It's hype time. We named a suspect. What do you think, Lynx? Are you ready to solve the case? Sure. You said I have enough clues. Okay. Hello, everyone. <laughs> this is Birthday Girl speaking. Please report to conductor car at once. I don't, I don't know who did it. Blaze? Espio? Espio is my best choice right now. Uh, wonderful to have you all here. Tails and I are ready to announce our prime suspect with assistance from Lynx. Why hasn't Sonic showed up yet? Because he's dead? He has no pulse? I should have said something? <laughs> Vector, real quick, can you come with me to get Sonic? You must still be pretending to be dead, lazy bum. Ready, let's go get him. Oh, let me tell you, darlings, this has been a delight. A delight. This is the air in here is so intense, I love it. Nothing like a thrill of a mystery. The train has so many amenities, I feel so catered to. Admittedly, I've been having a lot of fun myself, the amusement of the chase. I see why you're a detective outside of this mystery, Espio. You and I love good thrill, it seems. But on this train, I am a dumb and humble poet. I'd be willing to do an event like this again. It says here the train does escape rooms as well. I love escape rooms. Count me in. I'm glad everyone's having a good time. Maybe we could ride on a train just to relax sometime. Uh, yeah, that'd be fun too. Oh! What in the world? That's Amy's voice. Quick, where's Amy? He, he's not responding to us. Sonic. Sonic! What? Is he hurt? Why isn't he moving? Sonic, can you hear us? I mean, his body's been laying there for like an hour and 16 minutes. Like, <laughs> he's banged up. If there's a pulse, it's weak. Well, let's set him down, Vector. Make sure his head is propped up. I'll help you. I knew one of you would take it too far. Uh, which one of you did this to Sonic on my birthday, no less? Could this really have been one of us? There's no one else here, Knuckles. So I'll ask again which one of you did this. Uh, this is inexcusable. Sonic's hurt. He's dead. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to expose the monster who did this. Tails is not having it. I thought Sonic could handle anything, but somehow he met his match. I'm going to help you get to the bottom of this, Tails. Absolutely. Me too. Same. We're going to find out exactly what happened in this room and punish the ones responsible. Sonic. He's really hurt the whole time and I did nothing. I'm writing my wrong. I must take down the murderer. Tails, Lynx, I have a big question to ask. Who in this room did this? Who killed Sonic the Hedgehog? I have to answer right now. I, I, I don't want to say Espio because I feel like Espio is like the obvious answer at this point. But we're going Espio. You were the one to murder Sonic, weren't you? Uh, I did no such thing, my young friend. But if the battle of wits you wish, I would love to discuss things. Let's discuss. What the, you're accusing Espio? We already talked about this. The man was reading. You have nothing. Restarting Espio's alibi would be helpful for everyone, I think. Espio was locked in the library car reading. He only had access to the saloon car during the murder. However, new evidence comes to light that needs to be addressed new evidence oh yeah that's right could you fill in everyone in what do we find out that brings in uh espio's alibi we discovered a hidden passage espio could have left the library at any time because tails and i have found a hidden passage from the library car to the lounge car in the lounge the hidden passage exits behind the wardrobe i feel lucky we even found it not only would espio avoid any locked doors but that would put him in the car just before this one you have no evidence I use any secret passage. I answered all your questions without flaw. I was reading the entire time, remember? 
It's true. You didn't miss the question, but I think Links and I can explain that too, Links. How did Espiel know everything in the train manual he was reading? Uh, I have no idea. A ninja like him speed reads. He's a poet, so he's a quick reader, sure. I guess. <laughs> You're a quick reader. What are you getting at? You picked a random book off the shelf and memorized it, just to guarantee yourself a clean alibi. What? That's absurd. Memorizing a whole book? I know this is a talented bunch, but that seems like a lot. I don't know. It's plausible. Espio is particularly skilled. I've known Espio a long time. He once speed read a book I was reading just to spoil the ending for me. Wow, Espio. If I'm right, then Espio quickly memorized the book before entering the hidden passage. Then Espio could have met Sonic in the conductor's car where he was murdered. Since we're only taking what ifs, let me throw something at you. How was I to know about the hidden passage? It's hidden. Obviously, you read the manual. That's right. How would Espio even know? You said to yourself, kid, you were even lucky to find the passage. We might not have the evidence, but we know someone who does, Links. Who here has evidence to prove Espio knew about the hidden passage? We know! We know we have the left there! Hello? Rouge. We need to see the blu Rouge has the blueprints. You stole the blueprints, and it shows everything. Uh, I used it to scout for more treasures, whatever. Came up cold. You can have it. Blueprints are added to your inventory. You see, this right here is the blueprint of the entire train. Espio could have easily used this to find the hidden passage. What makes you think I ever saw those blueprints? Rouge had them. Well, Lynx, do you have any answers for him? How could Espio have seen these blueprints? Um, he swiped them from the conductor? Or he found them before Rouge did, yeah. Where did you, in the library card, it was stuffed full of brochures. I checked the saloon card first, then found the blueprints after leaving. So that means Espio had enough time to find the blueprints and discover the hidden passage. In my theory, Espio looked at the blueprints and then used the hidden passage to get to Sonic. Within Amy's guidelines, the murderer can kill a single participant however they choose. The logistics are still vague, but Lynx and I have evidence on how Sonic was murdered. I'm unsure how much harm Espio caused Sonic, but Lynx and I have evidence on how it was done. Oh, this is rich. Pray tell. If I murdered Sonic, how did I do it? Uh huh. With this blow dart, of course. Now, let's. Uh, I gotta think about it first, though, obviously. Give me that light bulb. Alright. This blow dart was found here in the conductor's room. Yeah, it was. I believe SPO used this to knock Sonic unconscious. Uh, so you mean Sonic might just be knocked out? I'm unsure. He's more banged up than what a blow dart would do. According to Amy, he doesn't have a pulse, apparently. A blow dart can count as a kill for the murder mystery. My theory, therefore, is plausible. Plausible, you say? Then why are there so many holes in it? You deny the allegations? Uh, of course I do. Let me present you the first fatal flaw. If I knocked out Sonic in the conductor's car, then how is Sonic's body found in the dining car? That's a good point. Tails was on. That's what I've been saying the whole time, but... I locked all the doors and Espio didn't have a key. He would have had to take a hidden passage back. And if he took the hidden passage back, he would end up in the library. Links and I know another way he could have been done. We do? What piece of evidence can we uh, look at? I don't know. A broken robotic arm? I don't think this is the right direction. Oh, what piece of evidence? Uh, this blueprints? Okay. We're getting closer. Okay. You're gonna have to think for me, Tails. Okay, let's take a look at the blueprints. If Espio didn't take the secret passage to get to the dining car, then what route did he take to get there? I haven't looked at it. Ah, oh, there's a path above the conductor car and it goes all the way to the dining car. I didn't even see that area. Is that some sort of long attic? According to these blueprints, there's a hidden path in the ceiling that leads straight to the dining car. Perhaps you can access it through the vent over there. Ah, the vent, of course. That must be an entrance to the path. Allow me to check it out. My work. There's a path back there. And there's a track. A track? A track for the robot arms, I think. Ah, uh, this must be the path the arms take to move throughout the train. So you're saying I somehow fit with Sonic in that vent and took him to the dining car? Tails, you're a smart kid. So you know you realize we couldn't fit up there. This feels right. This is feeling flimsy, Tails. I need an answer. My name's getting dragged around here. How on earth could I get Sonic through that vent with the arm? Now that uh, I need to think about my argument, you can do this, Link. You can, uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna think, we're thinking. Oh my God, I thought so hard on that one. I thought so hard. Everyone saw the broken arm on the ground, right? Yeah, clearly a fight broke out here and one of the robot arms was a casualty. But what if one of the robot arms actually caught Sonic? 
Knuckles said there was a track of robot arms used to continue through the vents, and the robot arm could have grabbed Sonic, passed out from a blow dart, and carried him to the dining car. Could that be true? Take a look at Sonic. He's clearly banged up. Could he? Uh, could the fight between been between Sonic and the robot arm? I can see that. The arms do look powerful. Sonic doesn't fall easily, and if a woozy from a blow dart, the arms could have gotten him. Interesting theory tales, but you have to admit that these are a lot of coincidences. I might be able to link everything directly to SBO yet, but I have found one inconsistency. What kind of inconsistency? Someone here received false information, and I believe that information came from SBO. Who received that information? Uh, Rouge. Oh no, Amy. She was. No, I know it was Amy. Okay, sorry. Yeah, you received a hot scoop, didn't you? Not. I think it's time you told us who that scoop came from. Tails, you're right. Espio lied to me. Espio told me Shadow was locking the doors to trap Sonic, but we found out Shadow was trying to keep me from discovering my birthday surprise. That scoop came from you, Espio. <laughs> of course not. Amy wouldn't have misheard me. Misheard you? Yes, I said Sonic's going to get trapped with all these locked doors. I was just looking out for my fellow passenger's safety. I didn't blame Shadow. I don't know, Espio. What? The evidence might not be airtight, but there's a lot being thrown at you that makes sense. I have to agree. If you want us to believe you are lazily reading the whole time while you are stationed in the room with a hidden passage? <laughs> and now you're lying to me on my birthday of all days. I believe the murderer used the train's controls to move Sonic from the conductor to the dining car and lied to Amy, casting further blame on Shadow for no other reason than to cause doubt and confusion. When examining everybody's alibis, one clearly stands out as the weakness, even though Blaze doesn't have an alibi. I believe it's clear to everyone that it could only have been one person. It was you, SPO. You were the one who murdered Sonic the Hedgehog. Uh, Sonic? Sonic? Hey, guys. Sonic? What? Hello? You're okay? Sonic. And we just solved the mystery. Espio was the murderer. Right. Huh? He's alive? Espio jumped me in the conductor car. Dang it, you got me. A blow dart, though? Really? It's non-lethal poison. You would be sleepy for just a while. Great. I can use a nap. No, wait. There's something important. Espio left me there. Something important. I need everyone to listen. The train's a bad nick. Sonic, are you feeling all right? Do I need to lie back down? No, no, no. We need to get off this train. We're not safe. What? When I arrived at the conductor's car, the conductor was already here. He was so excited to tell me about the features of the train. But when he was telling me, I had a bad feeling. I asked to see the power source. The conductor hadn't even seen it. When we took a look, we realized the train's powered by a flicky. A flicky? The imaginary tiny animal backstory details? There's only one person twisted enough to use flicky as a power source. Dr. Eggman. I told the conductor the train needed to be destroyed. He refused. The way the conductor was describing it, it's more than a simple bad nick. It's the conductor's friend. The train is his co-conductor. You're not serious. Uh, they certainly didn't tell me that in the interview. Right, as we saw Flicky, I felt a sting in my shoulder. It was a blow dart from Espio. Uh, 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 well, you're not dead. Why did you not have a pulse, though? Espio left. The lights in the room started to glow red. Oh, no. Hey, stop. What are you doing? I knew something was wrong, and I stood up. The arms came for me next. I spin dashed through the robot arm and sliced it off the rail it was on. Wow, I'm amazed he was able to do any of this poison. But another robot arm managed to grab me and pin me to the floor. Ah, ah. The conductor screamed as the arms approached him, but I was hit quite a bit before it all got to me. A weak Sonic because of the blow dart. It makes sense. Oh no. Uh, everyone, I have something to admit. I murdered Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> yeah, we already knew that. <laughs> the situation has gone so serious. Why would you not just tell us? I thought that's how these murder games worked. You shoot someone with a blow dart, they die. 
Are you crazy? It's just a make-believe game. No one should get hit with a blow dart. I was just following the rules. Uh, see? Use this blow dart on Sonic Station at the conductor. It's laced with a non-lethal sleeping agent. Thank you for using the Mirage Express staff. What is that? It says use it. Yeah, we always. Uh, yeah. Uh, what is this? Instructions? <laughs> I was given the blow dart along with that card. It's signed staff. Who gave this to you? I'm gonna think of it. One of the robotic arms handed it to me. Weapons shouldn't be allowed on the train. What is the larger picture here? Who instructed these arms to attack? Who or what? Lynx, who do you think attacked Sonic and handed Espio the blow dart? The train itself. I believe something's orchestrating things behind the scenes. Something wanted Sonic out of the picture, and for a good while, so I think the train itself is plotting something. It's Badniks, it's Robotnik, obviously. Once again, you keep saying the most ridiculous nonsense. You're seriously convinced the train has to get us out? I don't know what the train's full intent is, but clearly it's been tampering in our murder mystery game. Train. <laughs> Come out and show yourself. Hey, Amy, it's my birthday, and I don't need you messing with it. Amy hitting the wall with a hammer. I I'm with you, Amy. This train can have it. <laughs> Come on, there's gotta be another way to get the train's attention. What, what was that? Uh. What was that? What did you do? Is that the conductor? <sighs> Here, I can get him down. Don't touch him. Uh, is that the train talking? Of course I can talk. You fools are too distracted playing your little game to figure it out. You were right, oh, weren't we? We were right. What are you plotting? I'm talking, taking you all to Eggman's base, where you will rot. Eggman, after I deliver your annoying party to the Egg Fortress. Annoying? The conductor and I will be free to laugh and play games, ride and open rails like we always plan. What are you? Enough. The train speed up speed. Everyone grab something. Which one of these buttons turns the train off? Whoa, Sonic! Ah, 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 ah. Stay put while we arrive. Goodbye. Ah, oh, oh, ah, yeah. oh my god, we're going to have to fight Robotnik. That means we're going to have to think harder on how we survive. I just know it. A bunch of evidence has fallen out of my pockets. Uh, my head. Tails, Amy. Is anyone there? Hello? Hello? No need to yell, bud. Sonic, I'm so sorry. Are you okay? Hanging in there. It seems the train throw us back in the dining car. But where's everyone else? Great question. But for now, are you all right? Sonic the Hedgehog asking ab about me? I'm, I'm doing amazing. Wow, amazing, huh? You might have to share a bit of enthusiasm with me. I uh, might have overcompensated there. Let's get our bearings and take a look around. Good idea. Lead the way. Oh my God. Let's just check the door. My goodness, this door is daunting. The train's doing everything it can to keep us from the d conductor car. Let me see if I can spin dash. Can't solve all our problems. Ah, uh, I'll take a few more hits to get through. Let's take it easy for now and keep looking around. There must be another way to open this door, like a switch. Classic door opening mechanism. A switch. What doors are you using that require a switch? I don't know. That yellow glow is chilling. I miss it when it was just showing us the weather. Well, that's better than a yellow glow, I guess. Hello? Hello? Anyone there? Why is no one responding to me? I missed the yellow glow already. You got some nerve showing up here, egghead. Whoa, ho, ho, you spiky blue pest. Seems you've finally taken passage on one of my passenger trains. Uh, you created this train? Who the heck are you? Don't talk to me. <laughs> they certainly don't, didn't talk to you about my interview. About you, uh, my involvement isn't well known, civilian. Uh, the infrastructure in your town was, wasn't cutting it. If I were to build Eggman land, these problems would need sorting out, so I courageously got involved. I converted some cargo trains into passenger trains for the sake of the public. It's more useful for future schemes. Let me guess, another death egg, Dr. Predictable. The people fear giant fears. it's science. Let's cut to the chase, where are our friends? Judging by my security cameras, your pathetic friends are all locked in the cars they were stationed in. Seems you managed to make the train quite upset. Did you not know this was happening? 
Heavens, no, I'm the old, not only getting caught up now, I'm far too busy to notice what a passenger train is up to. You see, the capability of the Bandit is normally very basic. Just kill Sonic that time. <laughs> but for a luxury train, I wanted to be sure things ran without my supervision and report to me if anything happened aboard. This train's capabilities of intellectual thought is extraordinary, a feat only accomplished by my genius. Uh, so this confers it. Uh, the train is sentient. Suffice to say, your capture is inevitable. You're on a train that desires nothing more than to deliver you all to me. See, I got to thinking. I needed to manufacture a motivation beyond programming. I like to make my bandits compete against one another from time to time. It's good for productivity. So I instituted a bounty upon my army of badniks. First to capture your pathetic creatures gets a generous reward. Uh, the train wants to deliver us to Eggman for a reward. Most of my robots ask for nothing simple, just like an autograph or whatever, but a highly intelligent train, it may ask for something more interesting. As much as I like reward programs, are you done blabbering, Doc? You can never just win silently, can you? When you are dragged to my base, you'll regret the day you ever crossed me, Hedgehog. I already do, get lost. Ha <laughs> ciao. He always knows how to get under my skin. This is tough. The train has motivation and being made by Eggman is no doubt powerful. Not to mention we're all separated. What am I supposed to think? The trains purposely had Sonic knocked out so it could deliver us to Eggman. This whole time we're all in danger and I went along with it. Sonic was really hurt. The conductor's been captured. Should I have been more assertive earlier? Uh, I should have done more. Am I at fault here? Uh, I knew Sonic was hurt all along. Hey. I can tell the situation is getting to you. Oh yeah, sorry, I, I get it. The road's getting tough. It's easy to question the decisions that got you here, but when negative thoughts hit you, let it pass and keep living. I need you here, helping me through this before I do something rash. See, I'm one of those leap before you think kind of guys. Uh, you're all, you're right. Let's keep moving forward and make things right. We gotta go to the conductor's car before the train arrives at Eggman's base. Those doors have been heavily fortified. How do we get through? Uh, believe and you can achieve nothing. No matter the obstacle, I know you have what it takes to figure that out. The entire day, Tails and I have been asking ourselves, what would Sonic do? So what would you do? What would I do? Well, I speed through head on and rescue my friends by any means necessary. Here, stand back. Oh, wow. With one big wind up, Sonic's spin dash was finally fast enough to get the door open. <laughs> Now that the road's clear, nothing can stop us. Better hold on to your pants. I don't think we'll be getting another break after this. Ready to go? Uh, yes, let's do it. That's the spirit. Let's go find our friends to the conductor car to end this mystery to save everyone and leave uh, Robonic to do his thing for another day. Oh, are we thinking? Is it thinking time? All right, our friends are locked in the cars up ahead. My last adventure, maxing out the rings count, gave me an extra boost of speed. If I can grab enough rings, I should be fast enough to boost through the next door too. Ready? Let's do this. Okay, oh, it's full screen now. It wasn't really full screen before. That was a little confusing. Let's jump over that, hit that. Oh my God, we just need 25 more rings. And we can save our friends. There we go, 52. Now what? Now what? Oh, there it is. Boom! Just wait till I see Eggman. I'm gonna clobber him. We gotta deal with the train first. Come on, let's go. Hmm. Okay, next one. No problem. So we're going through the train. This is us. A representation of us running through the train. So we've got to think about what we're doing. Okay, a little bit complicated. But we haven't had too much of an issue so far. So let's go ahead and do this. Easy. Next one. Boom. Down. You all came for us. Of course. But let's move. The train wants to take us prisoner and earn a reward. My reward is to get off the stupid train. Let's go. Okay. 60 rings. Let's do this. 80 rings. Let's go. Boom. Sonic. It's about time. I thought you were supposed to be fast, Sonic. We gotta move. You two ready? Anyways. Always. Let's a boogie. All right, let's boogie and save a couple more people now. I think Shadow's next, maybe? All right, that was easy enough. And boom! They locked Amy and Tails in the conductor car. Say no more. Let's go save Amy and Tails here. 55, nope, wait, what? I wanted to get that one. 55, no problem. Okay, got the rings. Let's just make it to the end. And boom! 
Boom! Sonic! Sonic, you're here! Yeah, there's no way... That's no way to trade a birthday girl. You're right. I'm ready to stop this train. Time to finish this. Time to finish this? What's, what's, what's going on here? Oh, we're at the front of the train. What are we going to do? Attack the train? Hello, Eggman. Excellent work trapping these pests. No hurry to me. I must properly dispose of them to begin my plans for Eggman land. And probably another death egg. Uh, don't teleport us to the future. Don't turn us into robots. Oh, I haven't done that in a while. <laughs> Maybe I'll turn you all into robots to give you, uh, say, some new toys to play with. Shut it, Eggman. Don't disappoint me. Try and hurry it up. I will not fail. My wish will be granted. Your wish? Oh, you mean you mean the bounty? I don't care what you call it. Just bring me those overgrown mammals. Yeah, that Eggman. I must get my wish. I will not fail. This is it. Everybody get ready. We're taking this thing down. Oh, it's time to fight the train. Oh, oh, we got the train next to us. Uh, oh, it's the robot arms. The robot arms are attacking. Okay, so we gotta avoid that. Make sure we don't get hit. Collect 65. Woo. And we should be good. Oh no, oh God, I really had to hit something right there. Okay, I got it. I got the rings. I got the rings. None of you could possibly understand. We promised to be together our whole life. How could we just leave us like it was nothing? What do you mean, the conductor? He's retiring. You just have to accept that. My wish will keep us together forever. That's what being friends is all about. You can't force someone to be your friends. That's messed up. Shut up, Tess. Shut up. <laughs> That's why the train wants to capture them. The conductor's retiring and he was such a good guy. Okay, let's get the 65. Okay, 82. Eggman, Eggman, can you hear me? My wish, my wish, my wish. Make the conductor leave. Never leave me. Let us be friends forever. The kind of friends who would never leave each other. Oh, why would he betray me? Because you're a sentient robot and you don't really have feelings, right? Oh god, this is what happens in the future when they keep on messing with AI. Just robots never wanting us to leave. Ah, we think they're going to be bad for humans, but they're actually going to be too good. And they're going to keep us alive forever and ever as pets. <laughs> okay, 76. Conductor, you promised me, you promised. Let him speak on Adam. Train, stop this. When I told you we'd be with each other forever, I was a much younger man and now I'm getting old. I'm tired. Excuses, how dare you abandon me? I'll be lonely, so lonely. Why must you insist loneliness upon me? Uh, no, stop. What are you doing to me? Please don't make me do this. We have to rescue the conductor if we ever want to stop this train. Okay. So let's go. Where's the... Oh, the train. Where's the train going? Is the train going somewhere? Oh! <laughs> it's in front of us. <laughs> okay, let's catch up to that train and save the conductor. Oh, really? I had to go on the right side? No problem. No problem. I play this enough. I think I know what I'm doing. I've thought hard once or twice before. Yeah, I got, I got the rings. I got the rings. I got the rings. Go. Get in there. Get in there. Yes. Is that just one hit? Oh, we hit it. And it opened up, and it's all powered by a, <laughs> a flicky. This is just like the lower card of my expert friend, Detective, who left the work for Dr. Eggman. So this really is a bad Nick. The stakes rise every second, huh? We got to save him. On it. Let's show our full power. 85 rings this time. Okay, full power, no problem. Oh my god, I got 84. Not enough rings. What do you mean not enough rings? What do I do? Are we dead? Oh my god, we just restart. That's good. I have over 100 rings this time. You ain't stopping me. The ultimate power. Give it to him, Sonic. Break open that train. Just, just be delivered to Eggman already. What about, what about my happiness? Your happiness comes at the expense of others. Last I checked, that's being called selfish. Me, selfish, how dare you? Oh, now we really gotta collect 100 rings. Okay, Mr. Robot. Hopefully, oh, not a problem. Oh my God, God, too much, too much insanity. We got this, we got this. Oh yeah, oh yeah, okay, okay, okay. Almost there, almost there, almost there. Make sure, make that jump, make sure, make that jump, make sure, make that jump. Uh, get that, we need ammo rings. No ammo rings. Where are they? 
Yes! Do it. End it. That has to be the last one. Third hit. Third hit's the trap. No, 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 no! Grab the flicky! Flicky! It's over. Time to pay for ruining my birthday. Boom! <laughs> Completely destroyed. Yes. You've done it. Amy! Sonic! Well. The train is slowing down. Great hit, Amy. Heh. It's pretty great, wasn't it? That's what you get when you mess with my special day. Uh. Uh. I. I just couldn't bear to see you go. I'm sorry for the trouble. Oh, it's so sad. <laughs> I think our work here is done. Now let's get off this thing. Thank you. Goodbye, my friend. I may be leaving the rails, but I assure you, I'll never forget our time together. No. There was no happy ending for the train robot AI. <laughs> That's okay. At least Sonic is not murdered. I was lied to. <laughs> uh, we did it. Well, I'll say I've never been on a train like that before. The universe has a unique way of doing things. Watch your step. Watch your step. It's over. The mystery of Sonic the Hedgehog's murder is officially over. Maybe next birthday we could just ask Vanilla to make dinner. <laughs> Oh, you don't love parties where you the end someone tries to kill you? Uh, I'm actually going to miss this group and its unhinged way of thinking. Honey, you're late. I've been waiting here for hours. <laughs> You'd honestly never believe what happened. So I won't even try. <laughs> I'm just glad you're here. Quick, we leave for Spagonia in the morning and you need to pack. I'll pack faster than the wind. I need this vacation. S something terrible. <laughs> I need you home. Happy first day of retirement, dear. Seems the conductor is more than ready to begin his retirement. I'm happy for them both. Oh, who's this? An old friend, I think. They're a cutie, that's for sure. Cheap, 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 cheap. Seems that Flicky frowned a friend. Great job saving us, little guy, SBO. It was the least I can do. Sonic, everyone, I sincerely apologize for the trouble I caused. Don't be. You're just following what you thought was the game. It's hard to know. Well, I would have done in the same situation. I wouldn't have hit someone with a blow dart. <laughs> Seriously, a dart? It would have been hard to just get close to you otherwise, Mr. Speed of Sound. Regardless, I am sorry. We're cool, and now that we're all safe, it was fun. This group has a wild idea of fun. Boy, I'm starving. I forgot we ever, we never ate. With all that clatter, I completely forgot I was hungry. Me too, I was distracted playing detective. If only you could have seen me, Sonic. I was finding clues, presenting evidence, poking holes and alibis. Sonic, wait, where'd he go? Everyone, guess what? This station has a bakery, and look what I bought! <laughs> a birthday cake! Wow, happy birthday, Amy. To the confident, unshakable, and radiant Amy Rose to an adventure of a birthday, a darling, a memorable party every year to a fun birthday, a ride from start to finish. May our friendship grow stronger each celebration. I admire your tenacity. May you never lose your vivacity. Happy birthday to Amy and her sparkling personality. Happy birthday. I'm not smart enough to know a personality is a word. We love you, Amy. Happy birthday. Ah, you guys. We almost got murdered by a lonely train, but I wouldn't trade these adventures for anything. Never in a million years. You guys won't ever leave me, right? Wouldn't dream of it. Now let's have some cake. Yes, please. Dig in, everyone. Yeah, I hope it's chocolate. <laughs> and there we have it. The murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. H hello? <laughs> oh, it's... A oh, that train is never making... I need to finish that game. Uh, I'm making it here. Is it? Or bot. Prepare the bath. A happy rubber duck or angry one. <laughs> happy rubber duck or angry one. Angry. Sour choice. Your evilness. Shut it. Oh, let's go, Dad. Let's go, Dad. Huh? Okay. 
that's my story of when I met Sonic and friends, entangled in their lives for a fleeting moment, and then back to the things as they were. Cities realized Eggman was running the train system and fought back to seize control. Everything's squeaking clean now. As for me, I... <laughs> I quit my job. <laughs> and then... <laughs> I uh, oh one million is the lottery. Okay, yeah, I won. I did that. After that, I uh, managed to fly into space. Yeah, yeah that's just been my life. <laughs> quit the uh, quit my job. Win millions. Go to space. Ah, uh, the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog, an official game created by Sega. Honestly, absolutely amazing. That was really a uh, really really fun to play. Hopefully, you all enjoyed that as well. We do play a lot of Sonic games on this channel, so make sure you subscribe if you're new here. That was really fun. Can't believe they actually made a game like this. Uh, Nintendo would never. <laughs> Anyways, thank you all truly so much for watching. Links for 